Hey there, time for another update on the Storm Eagle build, which is now almost stretching into the uh, the double digits in terms of videos, taking a while. Um, I have done a lot of thinking and putzing around and going backwards and forwards on what to do with this. There were quite a number of times this week where I reached a point where I was like, you know what, forget it, I'm just going to glue the wings on. And uh, then I'd go, no, 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 no. Try mashing it all together again, trying to see what fits, taking out the uh, brass rods, re-puttying, re-drilling. Oh, this isn't working. I'm going to glue it. The next day, oh, no, I'll play around a little bit more. Nope, it's not working. Just going to glue it. Anyway. I've done that uh, several times this week, so over the course of this weekend, I I guess I had the the mind that all right, we're going to give it one more try and see how we go. So it didn't end up going with plastic card uh, to to build up any of the gaps. I went with the milli putt because it gives you a little bit more ability to get into all those little nooks and crannies and just. Um, get in there and, and you can sort of file things down, get it to shape a lot easier than trying to measure the minutia of the uh, the uh, plastic card. So what I've done is I've done a lot of milli putting so far this weekend and unfortunately it takes a wee while to dry. I usually give it about three hours or so. Um, so the, the worst part is the waiting. So the one that was giving me the worst issue was the wing on, on this side, on the ports port side. Um, that's required the most work. You can see that I've got a lot of milli parts sort of built up. Um, some of the parts here I've already sort of painted and camouflaged, but uh, I ended up putting quite a bit on this engine section here. Um, this this whole line here of, of blue, this is all just milli part that's hardened up and it was sort of easier to do it this way than putting it on the, the engine part. Oh, sorry, the wing part. Um, so, so far I've still got the couple of brass rods there. I've puttied the, these parts up, re-drilled them a couple of times, trying to get everything lined up correctly. Then I was able to identify where the gaps are. And I was able to use the, the milli part to sort of plug the gaps. Um, these are going to need to be. I've put a bit of uh, super glue, just little daubs of super glue around here, just to thicken it up a little bit. It's a little trick I've, I've learned when, when I've been customizing other figures. So I need to let this uh, dry a little bit longer and then I can sort of file it down to shape. Um, but with test fitting, this is, has slotted in quite snugly and everything sort of lines up now that I've got the, the milli part in to sort of uh, even things off. And so hopefully everything will, will line up with that. Um, I will find out later on this afternoon and I will do an update accordingly. Over this side, um, same thing again. Lots of milli putt. Uh, this is still in the process of curing. So it's going to take a little while to do. Um, this one wasn't fitting too badly, actually. It was, it was coming together quite nicely, but there was just... It was drooping a little bit underneath. So what I've done is sort of under this section here, let's get that around. You can see under here you can see the milli part sort of poking out. That's the part that I've reinforced. You can see all of this here. That's going to keep it straight rather than sagging down <coughs> because it uh, it would just it would be sitting squarely, but it would just lean a little bit. So anyway, this this part is still curing. As to the rest of it, I've just done a little bit more painting on the fuselage, just sort of daubing it here and there, just kind of killing a little bit of time while I've been waiting for stuff to um, to harden. Um, it's obviously going to need a, another couple of coats and things, but you know, it's just oh, well, I've got the blue there, so I'll just. Add a bit of colour to it and make, uh, make myself feel better about it. Get a bit of colour in there. 
got the back pieces here which are now undercoated and I've just been lining those up, figuring out where everything's going to go, go sanding it back where you know the undercoat's gone too far and it needs to be done back. It should fit reasonably well, I might, uh, might just have to put a little bit of filler in just to square up a couple little bits, but so far that's looking okay. Um, fingers crossed, we'll see how that goes. Everything else has sort of been, oh no, this is alright, and then when you get to the final stage, it's like, oh my goodness, none of this fits. But that is what it is. Landing gear, um, this has all been undercoated as well. Um, I'm going to get to work and put some brass rods through here because it's going to be going at an angle. I'm pretty sure I showed this previously. Um, so I want to have that nice and secure, so I'm just going to drill in there and there, get that nice and secure. Uh, canards, undercoated. Canopy is undercoated. It's uh, sort of coming together by fits and starts. So this kind of has not been a regular build for me. It's not like you start at A, go to B, go to C, go to D. It has been very much do a bit of this and do a bit of that to see if it fits. Alright, that's not fitting. Well, we'll go back to here and we'll go do this. Alright, we'll skip ahead and do that while well, this is happening. So, um, Again, even with the painting side of things, it's... Uh, Alright, even if I had have glued the wings on, um, I would have had to have done all the painting in these these blocks first, because you can't get in there once the, the engines are actually um, glued in there. So it's it's been a huge project, as you can see by the number of videos I've got so far. Um, it's still not done, clearly, by a margin. Unfortunately, I've got a little bit of interior damage, which I'm going to have to fix up. Um, unfortunately, just because you get some oopsies with uh, some of the drills, um, I had a going through the section here, the drill bit actually went into the interior. So there's a, a hole inside there. You might not be able to. There you go, you can just see that point there. It's like, oops! Um, last week wasn't a good week for, for doing a lot of that stuff, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay, I'll just putty that up. I've done the, the putty on the other side there, and um, I'll paint that up again. I might even just use an excuse to put some detail stuff in there, maybe some uh, console details or a bolter rack or something like that. Um, but I've definitely had my butt kicked by this model. Um, I, I have not had so much issue with any model ever before. You know, uh, something like this, the size of a Land Raider, uh, has proven no challenge whatsoever compared with something like this, uh, which you have heard me say on several times. Um, so this is just the, the stage of knuckling down and getting through it. Um, it's not helping at the moment. Well, actually it kind of is. I, uh, I have a couple of other side projects that I'm working on, uh, which I'm documenting in another, another video. That's um, some gifts I'm working on. And um, it's, it's kind of good because if I'm in the mood to, to paint or to model, then it's not necessarily just banging my head against this. Um, gives me another outlet and not quite so frustrating. Um, so I've been sort of swapping between that other project and this project. Um, I do not think that I ever thought that it would take me this long to, to do this. Um, and again, this it comes down to your exposure and your skill level. Um, I'm, I'm still very novice when it comes to lots of kits like this, working with resins and, and things. I'm definitely learning a lot. And there are a lot of things which I will be able to take forward um, after this. So, you know, that's that's going to be a positive. If I ever, ever 
end up working with resin again. Uh, I do have another project lined up after this one. It's going to be a, just a regular plastic kit. Uh, so that's that's what I'm going to be working on afterwards. Just a, a regular drop pod. Nothing fancy about that, but it should uh, be significantly easier than what I've been doing. But uh, there we go. That's where we're at. I'm I'm sticking with it at this stage. Just a bit of perseverance. I'm going to let the uh, the putty dry up, and then I'm going to clean all that up, sand it down, and and all of that sort of thing. And um, hopefully, the next update, which I do, which will probably be later on this evening, once everything's dried out, and had time to cure. I'm hoping that I will be able to display the whole uh, whole assembly together and things will look fantastic and be really sturdy. That's that's the best case scenario for that. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for that and hopefully we'll have some more positive news later on. Hey again, this is a Sunday afternoon update on how things have been going. Uh, once the uh, millipart has been uh, cured, hardened up, and uh, so far things are looking a lot better, uh, which is good because I don't think I could have taken any more failures on this particular part. So uh, here we go, here's the sort of rough assembly of the Storm Eagle as of right now, obviously not fully f uh, finished or glued. But, um, you can see our pilot happily ensconced in there. Take the canopy off, and uh, all these bits, they're, they're not finished or glued in yet. The pilot's going to be the very last part that gets glued in there. Got the little uh, gun turret part in here. I'm going to make that... Um, interchangeable with the different weapons. You've got heavy bolters, multi-melters, that sort of thing. Got a little top hatch. Again, this on the Storm Raven, this is where the uh, the turret, top turret weapon goes, and uh, it'd be pretty cool to be able to to put a, a turret on top of there and proxy it as a Storm Raven if necessary, but uh, this is fine. It's a good little, little top hatch. Uh, these covers here, they sort of extend the shape of the wing. They need to be uh, base coated yet, they've got the, the primer on them. Our magnetized weapons, the LAS cannons or the Hellstrike missiles. I'm going to uh, to paint the LAS cannons up as, uh, as I have the same style on my Land Raider. And then this gets us to the uh, the wings and engines again. It just seems to have been forever that I've been working on this. However, pretty solid. Gotten rid of most of the gaps. You can see that I've used a lot of... Probably not when I point that way. But uh, you can see I've used a lot of putty to, to sort of fill in the, the, the gaps and get everything sitting correctly. Uh, this side still needs a little bit of work just to get it lined up exactly. Probably need an, another couple of layers of it just to get it sitting flush is the, is the main thing because it's still a little still a little gappy and a little bit of wiggle room there but that, that'll uh, get ironed out as I go. But that, uh, that fits in there. I'm going to fill these up a little bit uh, just get a little more solid. This middle one is been hollowed out quite a few times, so that needs a bit of work. And this wing is uh, it's in there very nicely. Let's very, very carefully slide that out. And that fits nice and snug. This one is pretty much done, just needs to be painted up, tidied up. Um, I've just glued the wing section back onto the engine. I'm happy with how this has turned out now. I know that I, I would not have been satisfied just sort of letting that go. I've been, uh, been thinking about it the last couple of weeks. 
um, and especially after last week's disaster in various areas it's kind of just picking yourself up and uh, carrying on and just um, taking the time to get it all sorted out so there we go we're sort of back into a, a better place now so uh, what I want to do is I'll just do touch up on the whole get the base coats and paints and things sort of done and I'll have a better idea about where everything's going to line up, what needs to be glued that sort of thing and then the next part is uh, going to be the landing gear got these solid chunks there and uh, they're going to glue onto the back half here like so then we're going to get our, our landing struts like so, and they're going to go in there and uh, then our landing gear and they are going to go in like that and you're going to end up with uh, something like that so anyway, that is that is still to be done um, but it'll be good to uh, to move on to, to that part and then I'll be able to actually set it down and um, have it nice and stable. So I'm not going to glue these on until after it's painted I think because uh, I've got these light sections here that I want to be able to do some lighting effects on just, just with the paint. I actually really hate these types of lights which have got the, I um, don't know if you can see there, they've got the the light and then they've got the metal bars over them. Um, I really hate those because you've got to try and, and get in and do the detail and then you've got to try and do the the bars so that they're not covered and if you slip a little bit you've got to do the whole thing again so I'm not a big fan of those and everything seems to have it so it's kind of like the, the big bugbear for me uh, another part I need to work on is that aside from tidying up the, the drill holes that I made in there um, the rear ramp um, a little unconvinced about the solidity, solidarity, solidity, words are hard, um, of these uh, these bars here going across the back. They're just resin. It's going to be easy to break because um, it's supposed to just kind of rest in these slots here, these runs. Um, and clearly it's not solid enough to be able to sort of use as a toy and you know have things open and close and open and close. So it's probably going to be left in a closed position. Um, make sure everything sort of lines up so that sits flush. For for a wonder, it actually sits flush, which is which is good. So I'll paint all this back section together so all the, the paint sort of runs together correctly, and um, then I'll do the the inside part of it later. So um, yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there, and uh, I'll be glad to be past this part, as I was glad to be past the uh, the hull. It just seems like this uh, this particular model is um, just a lot of wow. I'm glad I got that done eventually. So um, again, end result. I'm starting to see things coming together now, which is fantastic. Um, and it's just going to be a case of pushing on and uh, getting everything just sort of finalized and lined up. I had to use the uh, the hairdryer again on this strut because it just wasn't lining up correctly and it was throwing everything out. So I've got that back into alignment and things, things fit a lot better with that. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's going to turn out okay now that I've, I've sort of gotten past the, the mental hump of, uh, of this section. Um, I, I don't know if it was ambitious to want to have the wings removable. Um, obviously it wasn't designed with that in mind and just lining things up has been really difficult but you know it was just a challenge I set myself. Last week it was looking like I was just going to throw that all away. Um, kind of glad that I stuck with it and it just it just meant a lot of extra work and um, perseverance in putty. I, I haven't really used a heck of a lot of putty before, so I was just trying to figure out how that was all going to work. Now I just need to get it lined up 
on the side 100% and uh, hopefully we'll be good so anyway looking better than it was before um, just again nothing's going to, to, to really really pop until after it's all done but at least I can report a little bit more success last week was a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde really thrilled with things going together and really down when things were not and uh, this this week at least um, I can say that alright it's it's going okay I can be, be happy with that so um, it should hopefully be mission achieved just got to tidy up a few other things and then I will be able to get to work on the next part and you will be able to see something other than me just holding this thing going wings engines ah anyway that's the plan so uh, thanks very much for uh, for keeping up with it and um, just uh, just while I'm thinking of that um, I do this for my own enjoyment uh, just a bit of a not a time waster but you know it's uh, no one is queuing up at my door saying you must make videos uh, it's my own little recreational thing but um, if anyone does have any questions or any comments feel free to uh, to leave them on the channel um, obviously I'm I'm happy to uh, to reply to any sort of in inquiries or um, you know uh, I like to hear you know constructive feedback um, other people out there have probably had issues with the same model I have hints and tips so you know I'm uh, I'm not against hearing what you guys have to say or if you have any thoughts about what another good project might be um, so yeah feel free to uh, pop any questions or comments in the uh, the relevant section there and uh, I'll check those out but anyway take it easy guys and hopefully uh, we'll see some more progress on this for next week take it easy